time for another exciting adventure day. Riley is getting herself all in position. We are at the Cane Creek area and we're gonna be staying here tonight. This is as good a time as any to say, hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. We are doing some more Arkansas adventuring today and we found a free campsite that we actually found on iOverlander. Now there were reviews of this place just really recently and the pictures themselves just made us go, wow, we wanna go there, we wanna check this out. And so we decided to drive about two hours to get here from our last destination and wow, am I happy we did. Let me show you around this campsite and you can understand why I was so drawn to it. And uh, maybe you'll wanna come here one of these days. Look at this view from our campsite. Woo, there's the water, there's me, there's her. It's very warm today. Definitely a good spot. Now, there are a few things that we're going to be doing while we're here, and so I'm very happy about this, but this is our backdrop for the next at least 24 hours. That said, there's a little bit of trash here, so we're going to do a good trash pickup in just a few minutes, but um, all in all, that's okay. This is our campsite. We have two little slots here that kind of wedge in together. We're right on the water, and you can see we'll be able to level out pretty easily with this. I stopped here instead of pulling all the way front because it does slope a little bit, but this is going to be nice. Picnic tables at each of the sites, and because they're concrete, guess what? No sags, no drags. We like this. Nice open area so we can put out solar like Riley was talking about. <laughs> okay, there are these little fire pits and grills. They don't look like they've been used the most. People have just kind of been putting some trash in there. But they have them at each campsite. And you can see it's a pretty nice sized space out here as a whole. There is a little bathroom area. But from what it was saying, that bathroom is not a place we need to be. Tyson, are you coming with me, buddy? Are you coming with me to go check out the dock? Or are you waiting for your mommy? You're waiting for your mommy? Oh, you're coming with me? Okay, you can come with me now, buddy. Apparently you cannot camp on the island. They also have some crappie and then bass regulations for this area, so that's pretty neat. We're not gonna be fishing today, but that is good to know. And it's right here by the boat launch ramp and then also this little dock. This place is so nice. kind of cool because Arkansas does this thing with their sales tax where they actually provide for their natural spaces through that sales tax. So the natural state maintains all of their natural spaces in this way, which makes some of their parks some of the best that I've been to. It's really a fabulous state to come and explore and adventure. And I'm hoping you guys are enjoying all of the things we've done thus far because there's a lot more coming up along the adventure path. You know, your adventure path takes you to a lot of different places and uh, ours has some significant stops that are coming up that we're gonna be sharing with you all. Isn't that right, Riley? Yes, so what's on your adventure path? If you are traveling or just getting out and taking a walk, let me know what's going on. What makes you happy? What brings a smile to your face out in nature? We're all gonna encourage one another through our adventure paths because I think that even if it's a small thing, we're all doing something every day. So what are you up to?
moving around for a little bit. And one of the things that I've noticed at this campsite also is I have AT&T and I have had 5G with two bars. So that's a big win for me. I like to stay at places that I can be able to connect to the outside world in case there's like a weather alert or something weird going on. It's just super handy. I'm pretty sure there's like 10, 12 spots here. Not sure, some of them will take their tent available, but don't really have parking. So you'd have to park in the main boat ramp area, but there's at least eight where you can pull in like this. So all in all, not a bad campsite. Not bad at all. We're not quite finished with the exploration though. Even though they said the bathroom is not usable, we're gonna go look at it. And there's something beyond this that has a sign, so I'm just curious to see what it says. It's really nice to see bright green moss and little green sprouts and flowers popping up. What's going on with the bathroom? It's definitely not usable. You can tell there's trash everywhere. Basically, this is where everybody chucks their garbage. They've turned it into a dumpster and it's disgusting. So. Yeah, that's kind of what the Eye Overlander person who is here only a few days ago said. Yeah, it's very disappointing to see. I, I understand why also they've probably just given up on it because people have probably been doing it for a while. Well, and in communities like this, they don't necessarily always have a dumpster at the boat ramp. So people just are foul. So I've seen several people who've just decided to try to burn their trash. And that's a big no-no. That does not go along with any kind of proper disposal of garbage so don't do that don't be that person even if you think oh my gosh yes this could be awesome usually whenever we go to sites and show that there's trash i try to always show us picking it up and i will do that a little bit later on after i get some gloves out but one of the things that is more important to me to talk about here is that so often people want to worry about who did it was it the locals was it a traveler I don't really care who did it, it's wrong. So if you're seeing this video and you are a person who recreates, pick up after yourself, leave it better than you found it. And if you're a person who is local seeing this video and just wondering who we are and why we're out here, please, please clean up your parks because it's everybody, everybody's doing this. And it's really sad because at the end of the day, sites like this are for recreation for everyone, travelers, locals, everyone. and. The more trash that builds, the more disgusting it becomes for the fish, for the wildlife, and for the people. It looks like there's a drive that is locked currently, and I found a sign for it. This is the McKinnon Bottoms Waterfowl Impoundment Area, so that's kind of interesting. Looking around, you can hear all the birds. You can see them in the treetops, and there's definitely a lot of animals that call this place home, and that's awesome. So, I appreciate this place, and I definitely encourage you guys to see places like this. We really like this spot because it has the beautiful view of like as it comes into the cove, but at the same time, it's full sun where Riley is. And so it's a little bit warm and it's heating up the box of my van too, because I only have shade in this direction and it's not really casting over. So what we decided that we're gonna do is actually move over to these sites because they do have better shade coverage. Um, this could be a mistake. We might be woke up by the boat ramp in the morning. I don't know. I don't know if this is a super active boat ramp or not but we're gonna find out. But I think that overall for the temperature, because it has been warmer the last couple of days, it would be better to have just a little bit of shade. So I think we're gonna go ahead and move over and then I'm gonna organize my van because my van needs a little love, definitely. So back in we go. I'm pretty happy with this campsite though. This is a really nice free campsite. And yeah, it does have the trash. and stuff like that but at the same time it's gorgeous and the campsites themselves aren't as bad there's just a few little pieces of trash floating around so we'll get those taken care of we'll leave it better than we found it can't really do anything for that bathroom but we can do something for the rest of it so this is going to be interesting i'm very very interested in seeing how we sleep tonight Right now in the distance, it sounds like there's a shooting range or something, so we can hear somebody popping off a little bit. There's only been one boat come through here so far, so that hasn't been bad, but this is going to be pleasant, and I am so excited about just getting set up because, honestly, I am starving, and so I think I'm going to be cooking something for us. 
Tyson, are you visiting my van? In the midst of me showing my view off to the world. Look at that view. This is amazing. This is my office of the day. This is pretty nice. Yeah, everything literally slid. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out where to put my groceries. I'm going to move my computer and things so I can work in a few minutes. And I was charging both the Vatid and also the Pecron as I was driving. So they should be in a bit better place. It looks like not much better on the Pecron. It's been a bit of a slower charge for some reason. Uh, if I felt like it, I would pull out my solar and pop it up, but we're actually starting to get a little bit more cloud coverage. So I'm kind of thinking that it's gonna hide. So that might not be the best. And it's a lot of work to put something out and not get any sun from it. So I think I'll be fine. And then tomorrow, whenever we drive again, I'll just continue charging it up. It's just charging up my fridge. My fridge is gonna be good with 46%, so I'll be fine. Okay, so this is our new spot. There it is. We have a nice little outlet to the water and then the boat ramp is now right there with the dock. is looking a lot better. I have space again. I'm not going to set up my bed stuff until later this evening and I still have my body pillow up here but overall not terrible. Definitely a good place to spend an afternoon into the evening and I'm very pleased with this. There's been a few cars come through. There's a little mule down the way that's kind of loud but so far, not anything too crazy, not anything too irregular for a regular campground. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and check back with you guys in the morning, let you know how the stay was, if I slept well, if there were any weird noises, anything like that. But all in all, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. There it is, my view of the morning. Wow, last night I slept pretty well. I did go to bed a little bit later because I had service, so I watched a movie. And by the time that I went to sleep, I was so tired. I just kind of melted into my bed. Although at about 1.30, I did hear somebody drive through here. And I think Riley did also, she texted me about it. But all in all, not too bad. Woke up this morning, it is already 62 inside the van. That is very pleasant. And there's a light breeze coming in from the door. Now this is a 14 day stay limit and there's a lot of wonderful sounds that you can hear out here. Last night I took a little bit of time just to kind of step outside in the dark and listen. And you can hear the frogs, you can hear some of the little birds, you can hear the little crickets. All in all, naturey, very naturey. And otherwise, I could hear a little bit of road sound from far away, but you could tell that it was traveling to this location. And then at one point, there was also a train that was very far away, but I could hear it. So, not too bad. Definitely one of the better free campsites that I have stayed at. Now, today I've got a few things planned. We're gonna stick it out here one more day so that we can get a few things done and just take in these views because why not? It's so nice. So I'm probably going to fix us some lunch in a little while. And then other than that, I think that I'm just gonna work a little bit. It's gonna be fabulous. For the most part, I just wanted to show you guys this campsite and let you see both the pros and cons of it. Again, this is the Cane Creek Recreation Area. It's in Arkansas and it is absolutely something I would suggest as long as you're able to be self-contained. Definitely a good one. The bathroom, not so good, but the rest of it, really, really nice. So remember guys, we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time. Till next time guys, bye.